Hello Aquarius, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for your financial abundance tarot and oracle card reading. Now you may notice we're going to get started here right away with the Moonology Manifestation cards, but please take note of that beautiful crystal grid we have set up today to attract financial abundance and prosperity. Money comes easily and frequently to all of you. We are going uh, past, present, future advice. I'm now putting on the fortune oracle for you all. Looking good so far. Let's consult the tarot and see what else you need to know about money and career. In the past, you have the lovers, judgment, and the five of wands. Whoops, pardon me there. Card fell. It was the wheel. You may have noticed that. The wheel of fortune. This is the present, the three of pentacles, and the star. In the future, we have the nine of wands, the nine of Cups and the Knight of Swords. You have in the advice the Two of Swords, the Moon. There may be opportunities and the Empress that you do not currently see. I feel like they're telling you not to give up, okay? Not to give up hope, faith, all the good things. And to keep moving forward. I just feel like we could use a little more room up there. Okay, so we have quite a few major arcana today. Six major arcana. We have Gemini, Pisces, Aquarius. Scorpio, Taurus, Leo, got excited. You have here in the past, first quarter moon in Leo, be humble with the card of the lovers. So we have double lovers today, if you didn't notice that. There are two paths ahead, be true to yourself. So this has to do with making choices from the heart. The path to the heart is also here with the energy of the Empress. I'm gonna be careful not to block that grid again, this beautiful grid. Um, so I feel like they're saying that it is a time where you're going to have opportunities. You have it several times here and to really, really choose in a way that you feel is best for you, right? You're, you're moving towards here a nice outcome, but I do feel like there may, you may have to do some advocating for yourself. So Back in this, with the lovers and judgment, you have a tipping point here. You have a time for some of you, if you're starting a business on your own, you're going to have to be scrappy is what I hear. You're going to have to continue to grind it out. Don't give up, okay? Even if you come to a few bumps in the road, it's okay. You know, especially too, things can be kind of fickle. Like you get into things like algorithms and one day you're at the top, the next day you go, what happened? Okay, some of the things that you may try to do are going to be trial and error, but I feel like they're saying tap into your creative energies and keep going no matter what it is. If it's something to do with housing too, and it's been a very competitive market, I feel like for some of you, if you've had a bit of a pause where you said, I just can't seem to move forward with this, I do feel like it's because you're going to be redirected, that there's something else or somewhere else you should be looking so with the energy of judgment, you rise out of anything that holds you back. It is a tipping point. It's information coming in, but it's also an indication that the veil between the divine and the human is very thin. So pay attention to your dreams, especially too. I feel like somebody has a recurring dream about the house they grew up in. Pay attention to what that is, that sense of nostalgia. Now, if it was a house of horrors and you wake up and you have a sense of panic with it, then it may not be quite the right time. It doesn't mean never, but it means if you're waking up with panic from a bad dream about the house you grew up in, like there's all kinds of disrepair and things like that, I feel like they're saying, again, that it may be to find that outcome of the Nine of Cups, you have to course correct a little bit. So in the current energy of Full Moon and Sagittarius, see the bigger picture. With the card of the Dragonfly, have confidence during this time of great joy, renewal, connection to spirit. And this is where I feel like you are going to be racing up, okay? Once you see what you really are looking for, 
once you can kind of get out of what feels like a bit of a gummy cycle, I see somebody with a material on their hands that just looks very sticky, almost like some kind of glue. And I feel like it's metaphorical. Those of you that have been through a period where it just seems like you can't quite move forward, I feel like you finally are going to do just that. I love the wheel with the star. You have you and your own energy here and the energy of the star. But the wheel helps make things happen. So if things have been stagnant or stuck, they're moving forward, especially with that three of pentacles right in the middle like we have it. This is going to help you to have new doors, meet the right people. You have a great influence over other people. So if you are starting to try to do some sort of a business on your own, you're going to have the customer base, the people that you need to make it a success. Now, if you're interviewing for something, even if it's interviewing for some sort of a, an apartment, if you live in a big city and you have like an interview process in order to even buy an apartment like New York City or somewhere like that, where it's pretty uh, cutthroat, you're going to make a great impression. That Wheel of Fortune, though, always spins in your favor. It is a card of divine timing, a card of divine cycles. It's an evolution. So when the wheel shows up, know that life is about to pick up, that you'll get answers to questions. You'll see what you need to see so you can let go of anything that's been flummoxing you. With the energy of the star, she's the goddess of truth. And I feel like especially too, because you do have that knight of swords rushing in, you may get information too. If something didn't quite go forward, you may get information that will let you let go of it so you won't keep wandering. But the star overall is telling you better times are here and that your wishes will be fulfilled. You're tapped into the limitless flow of the universe. So know that you're a co-creator, that you and the universe are in tandem together. You're working together. You're moving forward together. So you'll never be left behind. This is also too for somebody, I feel like you're going to meet a person who's really going to help you and give you a tip or a clue, some insider information, and it's fully above board. It's nothing they shouldn't give out, but it may be somebody who keeps information close to the best. So, and they just like you. That's why I feel like they're going to give you a little bit of uh, help. You have here in the future, last quarter moon in Gemini, clear your mind with the sun. Open your heart to the enormous growth ahead. And believe it, if you can see it in your mind, you can have it in your reality. There's no limit. If somebody passes you on the highway in a Maserati, that doesn't mean, boy, I wish I had that. It means, hey, that's available to you. It got your attention. You noticed it. For some reason, it sped by you. And so with this, know that anything that you see, you're bringing that into your awareness. Your subconscious is saying, hey, look at that. Wouldn't that be cool to have that car? So with that nine of wands, I feel like you've paid your dues to something and know that. If you've had a bit of a challenging or a difficult time, it doesn't mean that things aren't happening. It means that you've gone through that period and come out on the other side. So with this, I feel like with the Nine of Cups, you're going to be so proud of your accomplishments, but you're driven to success here. This is where you step on the gas. As you move into the future, as you see those openings, that is not a time to, del to delay according to the cards. With the Nine of Cups, it's very high vibrational energy. Money moves at a frequency and the frequency is fast. So I do feel like with the nine of wands, you've learned a lesson, you've, ga you've gained some information, you've gained some knowledge, and it's time to utilize that. It's time to help you make an informed decision. With that nine of cups, so you really can't go wrong. The knight of swords will help you cut to the chase. The knight of swords likes everything to, to be done yesterday. Okay, the knight of swords does not like to wait on a thing. So I feel like you're going to have a quick turnaround, especially those of you that have been waiting. So in the advice, I love the card of the new moon in Leo shine. It's a beautiful energy with the sunflowers. You have sunflowers now twice in the cards. And so there's a synchronicity there showing you that it's better times ahead, but it's also too the right situation for you. It's synergy when the sunflowers show up. You have the card of the key, new beginnings, directions, and adventures await. For those ready to let go of the past, so use that key to unlock a glorious future. They're telling you, look forward. So like I said, you may have an opportunity here. 
that you haven't been able to see in your day to day, but the moon helps you move forward. The moon, you take one step, the universe takes two. That two of swords, I feel like you're gonna have information that helps you take the blindfold off, put the fear down, put the anger down, the resentment down, because with the Empress, you're in a place of luxury. You're in a place of making gains. The, luck, the energy of the Empress is abundance, but she's always connected to source, very much like the card of the star down here. And so meditate, quiet the mind, and know that your spiritual guides are guiding you forward. Spirit is with you and helping you to be on the right path. I love you, Aquarius, and I'll be back again soon.